Breaking news, Jeremy Hogan on SEC's fizzling case against Ripple. Crypto legal expert Jeremy Hogan has named what he thinks is Ripple's strongest defense against the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission in the lawsuit involving XRP. Today we are going to talk all about what Jeremy Hogan said on SEC's fizzling case against Ripple. So watch this video till the end, because today's video is going to be a bomb. Welcome to XRP Vault, your daily dose of XRP. If you're interested in everything around XRP, this is the place for you. Subscribe if you want to stay updated with all the XRP news, predictions, and stay one step ahead in the crypto world. Make sure to hit the like button for us to provide you with more XRP news. Don't forget to enable all notifications to join our weekly cash giveaway pinned in the comments. Before we get to our topic, let's take a look at the chart and see what the price of XRP is doing on the 28th of September, shall we? Today's XRP price is in a solid position since the market has set the stage for further growth during the previous 24 hours. As a result, we anticipate XRP USD to exceed $1.20 next and drop below that mark later. The RSI is balanced and trades near the indicator's mean line at the 50 index level. On the short term charts, the indicator's present position allows for significant price movement in either direction. The indicator is now moving horizontally suggesting that both sides are engaged in a battle to control the price action. The stochastic RSI oscillator has significantly increased its value and is now above the 80 index level, reflecting high buying pressure. On the other hand, Bollinger Bands have contracted and are now closer to each other than before, hinting at a possible price breakout and upward movement in the coming days. The XRP to USD exchange rate trades around $0.9450 today after dropping to this level during the previous day. Ripple's price is in a solid position after breaking out of the $0.9450 area. As a result, we anticipate XRP USD to exceed $1 next and drop below that mark later. However, we expect XRP USD to recover and hit $1.20 in the next 24 hours. Now let's get back to the topic. The SEC has accused Ripple of illegally issuing XRP to investors as a security and alleges that the token is still one today. In a new AMA, Ask Me Anything, video, Hogan addresses how the price of XRP has a strong correlation with other crypto assets, such as Bitcoin or Cardano. According to Hogan, if XRP were a security, its price should be correlated with Ripple's actions and not with the performance of other cryptocurrencies. The attorney says the correlation with other crypto assets is likely Ripple's strongest defense in their lawsuit with the top regulator. The legal expert points to a research paper from 2018 by Andrew Burney of the Alan Turing Institute that outlines how the price of various cryptocurrencies correlate with each other. According to the paper, XRP is correlated to ADA by a factor of over 70%. Jeremy said in the video, as you're aware, the SEC has to prove that XRP is a security, and one thing it will have to show is that its retail purchasers, me and you, are looking to Ripple to increase the value of XRP. And what this paper shows is that the price of XRP is not really correlated to anything Ripple does. In other words, Ripple ended its partnership agreement, for example, on March 9th with MoneyGram, and nothing happened to XRP's price. However, according to this research paper, the price of XRP is heavily correlated with Cardano, 71% correlated according to the experts. Ripple has briefly touched on this part of their defense, but this is the first time I've seen that it correlates so strongly with Cardano. Very interesting. Ripple can announce a great business deal, the XRP price won't budge much. But if the price of Cardano falls 10%, you'd expect to see the price of XRP fall 7.1%. This is not how a security acts. I really hope that Ripple has good expert witnesses lined up and statistical correlation. Attorney Jeremy Hogan also said that Ripple would be feeling pretty good with comments from the magistrate judge in the SEC's case against the firm and its executives. In a YouTube video published Saturday, attorney Jeremy Hogan, who's not involved in the case, said Judge Sarah Nepburn of the Southern District Court in New York interrupted the discussion to apparently suggest the XRP cryptocurrency is more like a currency than a security. My understanding about XRP is that not only does it have a currency value, but it has a utility, and that utility distinguishes it from Bitcoin and Ether, the judge said, according to Hogan. 
This matter is at the heart of the SEC's case against Ripple, because the regulator claims XRP has been sold by the company and its executives without either being registered as a security or the firm seeking an exemption. No matter what the SEC may try and argue, a currency and a security are, by definition, an opposite. These are two different things, Hogan said. He added the judge offering the view that XRP has utility is exactly what Ripple wants the court to be thinking. Netburn's comments came during a virtual hearing, observed by Hogan, over the SEC's attempt to obtain personal financial information from Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse and Executive Chairman Chris Larson. The second bombshell, said Hogan, came as Netburn questioned whether everyone who sold XRP, including you and me, are selling illegal securities, based on the SEC's prior argument. The SEC attorney responded by saying that, under Section 4 of the Securities Act, only Ripple and its affiliates, meaning employees, Hogan said, could be accused of illegal sales. This being the case, exchanges that have stopped selling XRP since the SEC action could now potentially relist it, according to Hogan, who stressed he wasn't offering legal advice. However, Park Bramall, senior counsel at Lowenstein Sandler LLP, takes a different view. The fact that the SEC has apparently stated that parties other than Ripple and its affiliates can resell XRP under Section 4 of the Securities Act doesn't mean that exchanges are free to relist XRP, he said. What the SEC appears to be saying here is that, in its view, parties other than Ripple and its affiliates can rely on the exemption from registration provided under Section 4A1 of the Securities Act for resales of XRP, and that exemption is only relevant if XRP is deemed to be a security, he told Coindesk. Netburn is not the primary judge in the case, but she is assisting District Judge Annalisa Torres with aspects of the case such as discovery and mediation. If I'm Ripple, I'm feeling pretty good that my mediator and consulting summary judgment judge just said on the record what I essentially argued in my pleadings, Hogan said. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse has revealed the fintech firm is highly likely to go public after it settles the lawsuit the SEC filed. Garlinghouse said the company first started looking into how it could become publicly traded in early 2020, but noted that the SEC's lawsuit hindered its plans. While it still plans on being listed on an exchange, it hopes to do so after it resolves its lawsuit with the SEC. Cryptocurrency legal expert and XRP supporter Jeremy Hogan has revealed he believes Ripple's legal battle with the SEC could have a positive outcome for the price of XRP. That's all for today. In the end, we would like to mention that this is not a channel intended specifically to provide financial advice, and we do not ask you to invest in any company. This is merely a channel directed towards bringing educational content to your doorsteps. With that in mind, before you invest in anything, we recommend you do thorough, wide-spectrum research on the topic. Well, that's it for today's video, guys, and make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time on XRP Vault. Bye!